everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my artsy endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, guess what time it is? It's time for Gina Aaron's design team video. And what we're gonna do today is we are gonna make stickers, okay? Um, what I've got here is I've got Gina's stamps and I also have just plain old white cardstock. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to stamp a bunch of these stamps on here and then we're gonna color them and then we're gonna make them into stickers. All right, so I'm not gonna make you sit here um, painstakingly watching me do all this. So I will, I'll just do a couple to show you. It's nothing crazy, no big deal. Um, making sure I have all my thingies here. I am gonna use archival ink because I want them to be waterproof. Waterproof, is that the right word? Yeah. All right, so we, like I said, we've just got just plain old cardstock. This is the her first two sets that came out of stickers. And I'm gonna use, we're gonna start off with the feather. Okay, move these out of the way. And that's on there. We are going to, I'm just gonna ink it up. Now, it's funny, because I took a class at Diane Reilly, she goes, you don't need to do this. But I just, uh, makes me happy, so. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of stamping. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to make a whole bunch of things, and then I'm going to—I'm thinking seriously about watercoloring them. Maybe we'll see. And we're going to make some stickers. So I'll be back. All right, guys, let me show you what I've got here. Um, I just randomly went through and picked out some stamps that I thought I'd like to have made into stickers. So here's my first batch. Um, second batch. Oh, so it's not a batch, my second sheet. <laughs> these are the little dolls. I love these little dolls. Um, and then I just decided I wanted some of the doodles. And like I said, I will, you know, be coloring these in. And actually, I'm thinking seriously of doing a little bit of everything. Maybe a little bit of watercolor with them. Maybe some colored pencils. Um, you know, I've got some neon color pencils I want to try out. And so I'm, the next step is to color these. Now, I am, again, not going to make you sit here and watch that process. That would just be crazy. Right here are my neon pencils. And, you know, this is basically, I'm just going to take my time today and just relax and color them in and see, you know, how they turn out. And these are going to make great little stickers. Now... I am going to be using my Xyron sticker maker. Um, I think, and, and don't quote me on this. Whoops, I just did that one. See, I did that one. Oh, well, I'll do this one and this one. Um, don't quote me on it, but I think you can actually buy sheets of adhesive. I'm not really positive on that, but I will, you know, see if I can check into it between now and when the video comes out. And if so, I, I'll put a link down below. But again, I'm going to use my Xyron uh, sticker maker. I just, I think it's, you know, it'll be fine to use it for that. So that is my plan. But like I said, I'm going to take today and, you know, later on I've got some downtime. I'm just going to sit and color these in. Um, and we'll get them ready to start making stickers out of them. And then I'll end up using them most likely in my journals. Just because I, you know, as you know, I enjoy journaling. I, you know, it's something I do daily. So, and I always decorate my um, books. So it's, you know, it's a lot of fun. And, and I always use stickers. So why not use, you know, some handmade stickers? I think that's a great idea. So um, let me go ahead and play around with these. And uh, I will come back, show you what we've got. And then we'll make some into stickers. We'll chat in a bit. Okay, guys, so here's what I did. Um, I was actually on a call the other day, and instead of playing with watercolors, I actually got out my pe colored pencils, which I have not used in forever. So I just doodled and played with these. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut them out by my scissors. I um, love these scissors from Mayped Helix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out, 
and um, I'm not going to sit here and make you watch through this whole process. I am going to fussy cut some of them, but like I said, I'm not going to make you sit through that process. Um, we're going to cut them out, and then I'm going to show you a couple different ways to make them into stickers. So let me get these cut out, and I will be right back. All right, so here's what I did. I cut them all apart. Ugh. Oops, hold on. I can't get to my desk. My chair is too high. Okay, I cut them all apart. Um, these are the ones that were all colored with the colored pencils. Um, I didn't fussy cut these. I just cut them apart. Oops, put them over here. Then, these are the ones that I had not colored yet. So we're going to put those aside. Now, these are the ones that I did a fussy cut on. And the other way that you can make a sticker... Okay, first of all, you can make a sticker using a sticker maker. These small ones are not that expensive. Um, and it's really great for something like this. Um, you just push it in and pull it through. Okay, and it puts the sticker stuff on the back of the piece that you want. All right. I'm going to see if I don't think my giraffe will fit in there. Nope. So, um, very simple sticker maker, right? And again, these small ones are not expensive. I, I'm going to say six bucks, maybe something like that. Okay. The other way I was thinking about it and I'm thinking, okay, not everybody has sticker makers. So why not use double sided tape? So that's what I'm going to do on some of these. Um, I'm going to do it on the giraffe for sure. And, you know, double-sided tape, depending on where you get it, you can get some at reasonable prices. Um, what I did is I just put, took off a piece. And I'm going to put it on here where I want it to be able to be stuck down. Um, yes, you could do the whole thing if you wanted to. Uh, then just cut around it. Honestly, I think that's a waste of double-sided tape. So I am just going to put it on the main portions where I want this piece to stick down on the page. So, and then this one I'll just take and put along, uh, let me do one along the back. And just small, I mean you don't have to do them very big. Alright, we'll put one along here. Alright, so there's a sticker. All we've got to do is take the other side of that double sided tape off and we're ready to go. So I'm going to do it with this one as well. Now there is another tape, a double-sided tape, which comes in, hold on, oh that's self-adhesive, let's see if I can find a, a roll, it actually comes on a, right here, this is double-sided tape, okay, and it's just sticky on both sides. Now this is great if it's something you're going to use right away. Um, like these pieces I will use. So I could put, you know, this double-sided tape on the back of this and then just make sure I use it today. All right. Another way to make a sticker. Okay, so there's just a little piece of double-sided tape. So great way to use a sticker. Um, actually, let's do this on a few of them. Now the great thing about this double sided tape is I can put it over on itself if I have some on the ends here, which I did, and it's okay because the back side's sticky too. So there's another piece. Alright, I want to go back to this, actually I'm just going to go ahead with my sticker maker. But anyways, here's two more options on how to make stickers if you don't have a sticker maker. Okay, um, I do, so I'm going to use this, I'm just going to throw some stuff through here. And the great thing about this, having a sticker maker like this, is um, you can put them through and you don't have to use them right away. Um, as long as they're stuck on this, they don't have to be used right now and, you know, right here and right now. Come on. It's so dry in here. My, sorry, I got my, my, I call them my hand slippers on because I just, my fingers are so cold. I don't know what it is, but I can't seem to get warm. Now these sticker makers can do quite a bit. Um, very rarely do I run out. And I use them, you know, for my own personal journaling and that kind of stuff. So, 
All right, so there's the other piece. And then all I'm going to do is just pull this off. And I have stickers. All right, let me put these back. There for a long time when I was doing um, quite a few classes, I would take all the lesson PDFs and print them out. Don't ask me why. And I went through and I cut out all the instructions and I did double-sided tape them into composition notebooks. Crazy, huh? But yeah, I got them all over there. All right, so here's the pieces we've made into stickers. Now, what I'm going to do, you guys have not seen this journal before. This is a journal that I made quite a while ago um, when Carolyn Doobie was doing her one of her uh, free online classes. I'm not sure what it was. But it was basically made out of cardboard. And this is really thick cardboard. Um, it's a small journal. There's only, you know, three extra pages here and the covers. So, and I, what I've done is I've went through with white and black gesso. Um, the front of it has, this is a Barnes & Noble plastic bag when you go and buy something. Um, they give you these plastic bags with this really cool stuff on it. So I've got a little bit of scrap paper here. I've got the Barnes & Noble bag and I've just um, used my brayer to take, we use some leftover paint on the front of it. So this is nowhere near done. Um, you know, it's just a journal that I, I can play in. So I decided today I'm going to play in this journal because, like I said, it's only got six pages and hopefully I can finish it. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I have to decide, do I want to do white or do I want to do black? Let me see this. Oh, I like the black. I think we're going to do black. All right, this book, I'm just looking to see how I made it. Um, I made it with the the packing the um, book binding tape. That's what the the spine is. It looks like so it's all good. All right, this is bent a little bit. I don't know why it's bent. Urgh. Bend, stay down. We'll do this. All right. So I'm going to do this page just because I can. Now um, with everything that's going on, I thought, ah, yeah, you know, we've got April the giraffe, and I love this little giraffe of Gina's. Um, April the giraffe is, you know, um, out there waiting patiently to give birth to her baby. So I thought, let's do a page on that. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get out some neon colors. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to pull out my neons that I have with this. These are from Folk Art, and I think I got these at Walmart. Um, I've got the neon green, pink, yellow, purple, blue, and orange. So we're going to use those colors. Um, I've got my palette right here. And I want a palette knife, because I do. And what I'm going to do is let's start out with this neon green. Ugh. I'm just going to put a little bit here on my palette. Don't want a whole lot. And just going to put through this stencil. Let's see how it works through the stencil. Actually, let's get one of these. Just want to see if it. Ooh, it does pick up that neon green, but I don't like it like that. So let's get this straightened out. Don't mind me, I'm just, I'm playing today. I've been having a hard time the last couple days actually getting into my studio, not getting into my studio, but really getting into what I'm doing in my studio. Um, you know, I'm trying to get some videos done for different projects like this one, and it's just, I don't know, not happening. You know, I, I sit and write in my personal journal by the hour, but... I've just been having a rough time, you know, getting this kind of stuff done. So I'm not sure what's up with that. You guys see that? I like that. Um, I did end up going to a lung doctor yesterday. So um, we're doing some, some tests and stuff to see what's going on because I'm still having a problem with my lungs. But, you know, it's all good. I'm 
it is what it is. And that's okay. Where is my brayer? Somebody stole my brayer. Give it back. Give it back. I want my little brayer. I don't know what that one is. All right. I'm not liking this. Just kind of wipe this off. Okay. I'm not liking that stencil on here. And I'm not sure if I like that neon paint. So I'm going to get out my golden paint. Which sits right here. Now, um, some of you have seen this. Some of you haven't. This is a uh, container that I bought, oh, God, a couple of years ago, right? And over a year ago, I put some golden paint in here. These are the actual golden paints that I have. These are the colors. And I put the paint in here, and somebody said to me, well, it's all going to dry up. No, it has not. The ones you see that are dried up, there's no paint left in them, okay? The rest of this is just normal paint. All right. Uh, for example, see? I'm going to use this green. I'm going to try it again. Let's see if this shows up better. I like it better. Hmm, it's okay. Still going to do it, though. Right here. But no, um, I honestly can't tell you where I got this. It's a covered palette is all I know. Um, I have no idea. There's no markings on it. There's no... And it's been so long that I have no idea where I got it from. So to answer your question, does the paint dry up? No, it does not. Okay. All right. I want to do... Let's take some... Take some of this white, actually. Put it back that way. Let's take some of this white. And let's find a smaller stencil. I just want something in the background, something kind of pretty-ish. Um, let's take a smaller stencil. Take this one. This is one of Gina's stencils. It's got a bunch of round guys on it. So let me take this. So I don't know how many of you are watching April. As you know, she hasn't given birth yet because I'm doing this video. She still hasn't given birth. So, um, I think it's kind of neat to watch. Now I'm going to want her in here. I want more on my background. So let's do another color. How about a teal? Let's take a teal. And maybe a little bit. My teal's almost gone in here. And let's take another stencil. Where'd my book go? Right here. And let's do... some pluses. That looks good. Let's do some pluses. And we're going to do this in teal. Just kind of a randomized. Perfect. Nothing special. I like it. Alright, give me some more teal. Teal's almost gone. All right. Let's find my bucket of water here. Ugh. I have this great big jar that I throw everything into after I've used it like this. Um, actually, before we do that, let's do this. Hope you guys don't mind me messing around and playing. I enjoy playing with stuff like this. It's just so much fun. And we'll take our green. We'll take our neon. You know, why not? Green. Okay. I like it. 
Perfect. All right, so that's going in. Hear my phone going crazy? Ding, 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 ding. All right. Now we are going to start putting... Move this stuff out of the way. We're going to start putting down our stickers. Now, like I said, um, as of right now, April has not given birth yet. So this is like the beginning of March. Let's put it that way. And... Um, but I love this little giraffe. Now, I've showed you guys this before. Instead of sitting here with my nails trying to pick all this stuff off, I use my, my poker. It's just so much easier. Come on, stay off me. So we'll just take this and pull it up. I just stick it in underneath the plastic and then pull. And here it comes. So much easier. Sometimes it likes to pull up the sticker part, so you just put that back down. No big deal. Alright, so here is April. I'm going to put her up on this little ball here. Why? Because I can. Yay, she's stuck down. Now these kinds of things, I just want to randomly stick around, just because I can. Let's see, I like this blue one, you know. I'm going to actually cut these apart. This is made on the sticker maker, so it has sticker on the back of all of it. So we're just going to cut these apart. Okay, so here's one. And I'm just doing this randomly. I'm not thinking. I don't have it planned out. I have no idea what it's going to look like in the end. I'm just playing. And it's so funny because I found if I just, and I really probably should have taken these apart. Let's see if I can get them back up off here. Nope. So that's staying. Um, I have found that if I, oh, it's got double-sided tape on it. So these I'm actually going to cut into twos. Um, if I just play, I have more fun. If I try to think about, oh, it's going to look like this, it's going to look like that, no. I have such a hard time because then I feel like I'm in I'm restricted I feel like I I don't know I can't I can't play like that what else we got this guy here oh I want to put him up here so let's move this one down over this one I want to put right here can't remember is that the double-sided tape yeah no yes she's so cute all right, now, let's see what else I want to do. Let me get this stuff cleaned up, and I will be right back. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I like this, but I want to, we got to bring it all together here. So I'm going to do a couple things. I have a Sharpie here, and I want to see if this works. What I'm going to do, yeah, it does. I'm getting rid of that white paper. And I'm getting rid of whatever's on the end of my Sharpie. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, pardon me. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Sharpie and go around all this white stuff. So, I don't think you guys really want to sit here and watch this, do you? I can see y'all shaking your heads. No. So, I'll be right back. Alright, so, doesn't that look better? I think it does. So, now what I've got is so I've got a gel pen here. I want to go back in. I'm not sure what that is. I know she's supposed to have a couple things on her head. Okay, that gel pen is not working at the moment. Let's go in with this one. And I'm just outlining her little doobies here. Doodles that Gina had on the sticker. She's going to have two little nubs up here. I have to paint those white. Let's get a white. Let's get a white. Actually, they're light purple because I just painted them purple. 
That works. I'm gonna make these white. So I hope you guys have got some ideas of how to make some stickers today if you don't have a sticker maker. Um, and you know, it's always fun playing around with uh, Gina's stamps. She just, I love the way she doodles and she just has a really good time with them. So I enjoy playing with these. And I thought, you know, what the heck, let's do a, let's do an April page since she's the big news other than anything else that's going on. So, um, I just want to throw in some doodles here. Do some doodles. So just play. You know that's what it's all about is just playing and having fun. That's, that's all that really matters. Um, I know when you go in your art room and if, if you you know feel like you have to be there and you have to be doing work, that's not fun. You know, it's it's more fun to be able to go in and say, ooh, what do I want to play with today? Um, I enjoy doing that. So like I said, right now I'm just doodling. I'm just having fun. That's all. And, uh, you know, I accomplished my goal today, which was to play around with some stickers and show you guys different ways to make them. You know, it's not always about having the, the best equipment or the, you know, um, you got to have this material or that supply or whatever. You use what you have, and then you just, you know, ma you make it work, and you have fun with it. And that's really, you know, what matters about the art is, do you enjoy the process? If you don't, then why are you doing it? Because if you don't enjoy it, there's no sense in doing it find a word. I want a word for on her. Let me grab my word tin. There's one right here. Um, I have a couple different word tins, but this one, let's see what we can find for her. Ha, ah, sweet baby. Look at that. Sweet baby. Actually, a sticker. Speaking of stickers, we got ourselves a sweet baby. And let's take our white. go. There it is for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Definitely check out in the links below all of the other design team members videos. They'll show you different ways to use your stickers or even maybe how to make stickers. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below and we'll be glad to help you out. I hope you guys have enjoyed and we'll talk to you soon. Bye! I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind, have fun, that's what life's all about, and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye!